reading, writing, fill in the blanks. Always difficult, always difficult, always difficult. But what if I tell you the 10 super awesome secret hacks using which you can actually become more aware and evade from falling into the traps and get this fire to fire in every reading, fill in the blanks, just like this. To witness yourself, all you got to do is make sure you watch the video till the end. Hey everybody, Nakul from Skills PT Academic. Really hope everybody is doing fantastic. Come back with yet another super awesome power packed tips video on reading, writing, fill in the blanks with the title Nine Secret Tips, Secret Hacks for a Perfect 19 Reading and Writing too. Before we get into the video, if not subscribed to this channel, kindly click on the subscribe button. And anytime you need online assistance, it's a paid assistance. You can WhatsApp us to the number appearing in the description of this video. We have given a link. You can just click on the link directly. You will come to our WhatsApp or you can send us a mail. I'll be there. We will be there to help you, guide you in the right direction. All right, without further delay, let's try to get into the video. Let me just share my screen. Reading, writing, fill in the blanks, nine secret tips for a perfect 90 out of 90. Remember these nine secret hacks are so you know great that you just need some time to digest them just you know like completely focus on this have a pen and a paper write them down and whenever next you solve the reading writing fill in the blanks try to implement that's where you progress just knowing is like having a lot of money when you don't know how to spend your money then there is no point in having the money here as well having knowledge is one thing implementing is the next here i'm going to show you the implementation part as well let's quickly start with the very first technique remember never read full meaning read when it is required see at the end of the day it all boils down to the timing factor reading writing fill in the blanks will have very less time lengthy paragraphs two and a half minutes you're expected to solve each question if you go with the brute force method meaning the normal method it definitely gonna take a toll on your marks so read when required meaning try if grammar works big paragraph First line, second line, third line, fourth sentence, fifth sentence, sixth, seventh, eighth, tenth sentence has the blank. You don't have to read all. Directly come, come to tenth sentence and see if you can apply grammar techniques. You can check out my grammar videos. So many grammar series I've made. Full course grammar videos, you know, as far as PT is concerned. You can check out my grammar videos in the YouTube. You can type skills PT grammar videos or knuckle skills PT grammar videos. They all will pop up. But here as well, I'm going to show you how to implement this grammar thing and save a lot of time see now just just observe things here the very first two blanks are closely spaced after this oh there are more than 10 12 lines you don't have to read directly come here see in a by at on for this you don't need context it's pure grammar is over or as it's pure grammar that means in parts of the world air quality has rapidly improved you don't have to read boss hope you're getting it all right, so all but 1% of the world's population, 1% is only 1, correct? 1% of the world's population exposed, again passive voice you need, uh, has exposed, is exposed, exposes. See, this is a passive voice, 1% of the people, he is exposed to the race. He exposed me, see, he himself did some action, no, race are on to him he is exposed to them it's active voice passive voice we will see but this is purely grammar he is exposed to unhealthy air air that now subject verb agreement he eats s has to come air something with s has to come he eats they eat computer stores computers store whenever there is a singular noun the verb will have s in the present tense it's a present tense fact air that purifies, air that assesses, air that exceeds, air that exceeds. Yes, is there exceeds, done and tested. So basically, first two blanks, I am not even worried about the context. Well, context is required at some point of time, but not in every blank. After this, I will directly come here, dash 2050, it's future tense. For the future, you will always say, by this year, by the end of this year, by 2050, by 22nd century, Hope you are getting it. So it's always by, by, grammar wise. The last one. Now again, I'm not reading the number of people exposed to unhealthy air. He said, I'm not reading directly. I'll come to next one and see if grammar works. If grammar works, it works. If the grammar doesn't work, meaning there is a vocabulary, there's some context, then you need to read. All right. 
the worst day of days of air pollution under the blah 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 the worst days of something worst days is the acting now hope you are getting it the worst days worst days is plural has cannot come is cannot come were or are expected is future tense so were cannot come answer is are easy peasy See here, worst days of air pollution. People think air pollution is the acting on. Worst days is the acting on. Worst days of something. After of whatever comes, we don't consider it. Before of is what we consider as per the rule. The worst days are expected to rise. In our, you know, like course, we have forty hour of grammar plus live grammar sessions and lot many things. Any time you need the online paid assistance, you can join. But yes, from the YouTube also, if you're quick enough, you can actually get ninety from these videos. So that's the first thing. This may not work all the time, but it will work sometimes. At least thirty percent of the times. All right. So with this, we will move to second one. Don't simply read everything. Try to find collocations. If not grammar, is it based on collocation? If not collocations also, then you read. Your first priority is not to simply read. The first priority is to check grammar. Second priority is collocation. Third, the last least priority is to read everything with the brute force technique. Now collocations. I made many collocation video. You can check in our course. We have some forty, thirty, thirty-five hour of collocation series itself. So now in a small town of Khaibai, Uz Uzbekistan, dash by, the town is surrounded by. What's the boundary of the town? It's bounded by collocation. Hope you are getting it. And this one. I'll not read now. All roads lead to a blah 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 blah. Not required. It is. It is dash to. More than sixty sites, medieval mosques. It is allocated to home to again collocation. So now my only point is, if the blanks are based something on this, then there is no point in reading these lines. You directly come and see if the answer to this is independent of the previous lines. If it is independent, if it is not dependent, then directly you can get the answer. No save style. To read all these things, you need one point five minute. Now within ten seconds, not even ten seconds, five seconds, you finished, isn't it? So home to now medieval mosques, mosques over dash palaces, collocation. It's rich palaces, luxurious palaces. It's always opulent palaces, not flabbergasting, cozy, aesthetic. Now again, don't read all directly. Come see. This will not work all the time. I am telling you, but thirty-three point three three percent of the times, out of hundred, thirty-three point three three percent of the times, it will work. The rest, thirty-three point three three percent of the times, grammar works. The remaining thirty-three point three three percent of the times, context. Usually, it is divided like this. Trust me on this. I could see the street shops slowly dash. Now, little context is required here because morning is there. Entering from. One autumn morning, he is entering. Morning, the shops will open. Opening of the shop is called coming to life. Means they are alive. They are open to customers. Not uh, rising to fame. Rising to fame means popularity. Coming to life. So the point is, these four can be solved in twenty seconds. But I don't know why. Even after watching this video, people end up taking four minutes to solve one reading, writing, fill in the blanks question. It's time you think about this. All right, we move on to the one more blank. You know, try doing it. Probably in twenty seconds. I'm not adding a timer. Try doing it quickly. You can pause the video and do it. Know that you cannot take more than twenty seconds to solve this. The three blanks directly come here. Pause the video and do it. Once done, resume the video to understand what mistakes you've done. Introduced in the UK, she is introduced as something. As someone introduce someone as is the collocation. Introduce in the UK as I'm not reading this. Uh, and the next one with the scraping roots, the weed. The weed, you know that, right? It's an unwanted plant. They're always there. You know, with respect to a crop or you know, plant something. These unwanted plants will always cause trouble. This is the general knowledge, correct? The weed can smoother, smoother, smoother is <laughs> kill someone. You should know this: smother gardens and parks, and is the dash of homeowner something that causes suffering, pain. It's always called scourge of homeowner. That's a collocation too. Now, if you are quick enough, if you read newspapers, if you read novels, or if you are aware of the collocations, this entire thing—twenty seconds, thirty seconds—that's it. 
But there are questions that you need 4 minutes. Those you take 4 minutes, these things 30 seconds. Give it a thought. Next time you do a fill in the blank, maybe in any xyz.com. Try to follow the approach. It is not just about practicing. It is about practicing with a solid approach. You may have lot of energy. Destination is there, but you are running in this direction. It will take you a lifetime to reach, to understand that you are running in the wrong direction. When you have the direction right and you have the energy within you, you can walk, you can run, you can sprint and reach your destination. This is exactly what I am talking about. Practice, I am not asking you do not practice. Practice, but in the right way. All right, tip 3, see all the tips that I have given you is purely based on my experience of training over more than 20, 25,000 students in the stint of 6 years, close to 6 years. I have come across every kind of a student who has asked me every kind of a question and who has made every you know, kind of a mistake. What do you think is obvious usually is not correct. This is the answer, you oh, so easy and do not go and correct it, do not go and select it. Mostly it is not the correct answer. I do not want to break the flow, there is some noise, but I will continue very sorry. But yes, the point is when you think, oh, this is so easy, this is the answer, do not select or think twice before selecting. Let us say, take your time and do this. Once done, resume the video to understand what answers you selected. All right. Mostly people write investigated. The area has been investigated. No, the area has been dash. Now it is killing. There are some fire. The area has been circled with some boundary that no one should enter. That is called cordoned off. Waved off means wave off some, you know, you, I mean like give a discount. Okay. So, it is not investigated. The area has been cordoned off means you do this to the area. You put a tape and no one can enter here. And once this is done, then the investigation starts, is not it so? Some people think, hey, it is so easy and go for investigate it. It is wrong. The area has been cordoned off and an investigation is lapsed, people write. Investigation is collapsing the bridge, probably because they see a blast, not much of the bridge here, uh, it is underway. The answer is underway, um, means it is under, underweights, it is going on may not be a very great example, but trust me this one people write investigated and this I have seen people writing lapsed from my experience. So, answers are sometimes tricky, correct? They are there just to fool you. Let us say you are walking, there is a big pond of water, a small pond of water. You have to jump over it. You are seeing there is a water and you know putting your feet to test how deep the water is. Then the crocodile will come and just suck it, correct? Suck your leg. The point what I am trying to tell you is, think, do not blindly go with it. If something is enticing you, attracting you, pulling you towards wrong direction and making you think that, okay, this is the answer, think twice before solving because that is how the questions will be usually in the exam. The next step, the next secret tip, tip number 4, always find clues and logic to deduce the answers, never go with intuition. If it is not grammar, if it is not collocation, then logic has to be there. For example, you can pause the video and do it and once done resume the video. I will help you understand clearly what exactly I meant. People will listen to their lungs, pancreas, intestine, heart, but not this Einstein brain, this they let it rust, correct? This has to be an anti-corrosive material now. You cannot let it rust because you need to keep on working. Make it work, understand now. India's coral islands of Lakshadweep, people write picked interest, no this is a wrong, pick a fruit pick a chocolate of your choice, not pick an interest. Peaked, it is pronounced as peaked means arouse interest, curiosity, peaked interest. Now, we will come here. Probably they are talking about a place called Lakshadweep in India, which recently made a lot of news. It is a tourist place. When you are about to dash, now you need to think. Blow up means put a bomber. <laughs> Wonder is, Surprising, not wander. Now think, what is the answer? Land on the place. Correct? So now two are done. The rest two, I have seen people writing red, yellow, green, but never blue. Now there is a clue here. See here? Now this is what I told. Here you cannot solve using grammar, using uh, collocation. You need to get the context. Now let us read. 
when you are about to land on India's archipelago, archipelago means group of islands, small islands, you will see shades of blue around. Name the shade of blue, dark blue, light blue, average blue, turquoise blue, emerald blue, they are all shades of blue. So, how a green will come? How yellow will come? The narrow strip, small strip, closest to the white beach is light blue. A little further, people write a little sight, little gate, a little attraction, simply because their heart will pound. Attraction, 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 isn't it? What is the clue? A little, now you are near the shore, a little further you go, it is turquoise blue, while the deep sea is emerald blue. So, this is a shore, here some sand, sand is there, here the water starts, this water is light blue and now little deep, this is 20 feet, this water is turquoise blue, now more 150 feet, this water is emerald blue, simple. If when you stop listening to your heart, listen to your heart when it is required, but not in PTA exam. <laughs> Maybe when you want to fall out of the love or fall in with someone, then you listen to your heart, not in PTA exam. Here you need to use your kidney brain, correct? So, answer as further blue land on peat. All right. Hope you are learning, hope I am giving you the right information and not boring you with all my talks. Let us continue with one more. Pause the video, try doing it. Once done, resume the video to understand whether you have got the correct one or not. All right. It is incredibly delicious, tasty, versatile tipped. This is also one of the famous traps. Remember the answer for a particular blank usually will not be in the same line, it will be in the next set of lines. It can be grilled, it can be cooked. It can be turned into beer, fermented, pickled, so many things. Means it can be moulded into different, different things. That is called versatility. If you go with the heart, you will say delicious or tasty, but both are almost the same, is not it so? So, answer is versatile. Give it a thought, these are the real problems why people end up getting low scores. Next one, if something is taking time, know that the next or the other question will be easy, do not hesitate to spend some extra time. Some questions will take some 4 minutes, it is ok. The moment you solve one question 4 minutes, the next question may also take 4 minutes, but after that they will be easy. Do not be under tension, under an impression that I already spent 4 minutes, so next question I should, I need to rush. If some question is taking you more time, means it is purely based on the context. The rest of the questions will actually or at least be based on grammar and collocation. Remember this, build that positiveness and march forward. Tip number 6 is this, usually it is 33 percent grammar, 33 percent collocation and 33 percent context. This is how it is actually divided, you do not have to worry. But grammar collocation based questions, you should not spend 4 minutes, less than 1 minute or max 1 and a half minute. Context once, 3 minutes, 3 and a half minutes, 2 and a half minutes, 4 minutes, it varies. Give it a thought, remember this and try to solve. Tip number 7 is a very simple technique. When two synonyms are given, both of them are not the answers. A, B, C, Z. Z has to be the answer, no A, B, C are into same group, usually. For example, here. Great day, best day, good day, all are same only. I do not have to even read the paragraph, answer is bad day. Praised, appreciated or both are same. Awaited, you wait for it because it is good. So, waited, praised, appreciated. They all grouped into group 1. Odd one out, ridiculed. Ridicule someone means find the flaws. Answer is ridiculed. So, what I am trying to tell you is you do not have to read. Sometimes it is like this. But you should have an open mind to find out or okay, it is like this, oh this is not like this, this requires time, oh this does not require time, this will come based on experience. But have this knowledge, try to implement, you will see things will automatically fall in place, ok. All right, tip 8 active voice, passive voice is a big trouble. It is given, it gives, it has given, it was given, they were given, they are given they give, <laughs> they are giving. I do not want to trouble you more on this because this is a pain. I have already made one and a half hour video, active voice, passive voice, skills PT academic, you type, you will get it, 
my recommendation finish it you're not going to waste your time that's a that's worth the time you spend there you will get a complete understanding but in a way active voice is all about it it says it talks about doing an action passive voice receiving an action ram killed ravan if you consider ram is doing an action it's an active voice but if you want to consider from the ravan side then it's ravan was killed by ram that's a passive voice because ravan is receiving the action ram is doing an action when the sentence is in a way that you interpret it as someone is doing an action then you do active voice if you interpret it in a way that someone is receiving an action it's a passive voice all right so now pause the video and do it some of the people would read a lot of books they would automatically choose a correct one with their intuition can i go with it if it's working well and good but if it's not working then finish my one hour video one and a half hour precisely you will have more understanding Pause the video, do it. Once done, resume the video to understand if you have gotten the correct answer. A recent study highlighted a study is doing some action. How can study do the action? Recent studies have shown. Recent study shows. Study can show you something. It is not receiving. Study is not receiving. Study is giving an action, doing an action. Whenever you see is, was, it is receiving. Whenever you say has, have, it is doing. Ravan is killed by Ram. Is killed. Someone is doing an action. He is receiving. Ram kills. Ram has killed. They have driven the car. It is all doing an action. Here it is active voice. It should be has or have. But study is singular. Answer is has. If it is studies, then it is have. Hope you are getting it. So answer is has. Paper straws assessed by blah 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 blah. Doesn't matter. Paper straws, can straws do an action? No. It's usually receiving an action. He killed Ravan. He killed Adam. Kill found. It's an action. Were found. Are found. Was found. They're all receiving an action. They he or they were killed. They are killed. He was killed. Hope you get it. It's all receiving an action. One of them is correct. Now straws, plural. Was cannot come. Plus, they were not. They was. Now it is were found or are found. A recent study highlighted another potential concern. Paper straws assessed were found to contain because it's all in the past tense. As simple as that. Paper straws were found to contain more chemicals. It's all in the past tense, so we just keep it in the past tense. So answer is were found. But the idea is not about are found or were found. The idea is about understanding. Found cannot come. It's a passive voice. This will come with the practice, guys. Finish my video, you will understand more about it. But be watchful. Become more aware about these concepts. They're very tricky. Okay. All right. We go to the next one. Tip number nine. Since, because, as, however, therefore, furthermore, despite, in spite of, even though, all the while, full confusion. There are conjunctions. In our course, conjunction itself is around 4 5 hour video. Because they are quite big. Here I will address whatever is possible. Remember this. Since, because, as, since, because, as, since, because, as, since, because, as, since, because, as. They are all same. Since is used in multiple scenarios. I was playing since 9 year old. That since is with respect to time. But if you come out of it and think since as a reasoning, because is also reasoning, as is also reasoning. All three are synonyms. I ate lunch late since I was not hungry, as I was not hungry, because I was not hungry. All three are the same. Hope you are getting it. All three are absolutely the same. When these three are, there are one more is there. One more is the answer. These three cannot be the answer. They are all the same. Getting it? Now we will come to a little tricky part. But though, although, while, despite, in spite of, take a picture. All these are the same. They all come to show contrasting. I worked really hard, but see the score zero, 40 overall. Though I worked hard, I got 40 overall. Although I worked hard, I got 40 overall. While I worked hard, I got 40 hour. Now, the point is, all these have the same usage. I worked hard, 
but I failed. See, I is a noun, verb, noun, verb, observe, is the last step. I will not bore you more, please observe. Though I worked hard, I failed. Noun, verb, noun, verb, four times, total two times it is there. Although I worked hard, I failed. Noun, verb, noun, verb, while I worked hard, I failed. Okay. Despite working hard, where is I? Where is worked? It is only a noun phrase. This is gerund we call working hard is a noun. I failed. In spite of working hard, I failed. If you see here, these four has noun verb, noun verb. So, these two has noun, noun verb. So, this could be a major difference in the way you use um, the conjunctions like but, though, although, while and despite and in spite of. Apart from that, the very meaning they portray remains the same. It is to show contrast. So, now the next step is, see this is not the end of it. Next step is start implementing them, correct, in your practice things or in the, you know, like main exam or something. So, hope whatever the knowledge that I have given will not be wasted, will definitely be utilized in a right way. So, these nine secret tips are actually enough because I have got a lot of content that I have given here. One who understands it will actually make more use of it and get that good marks. Fine guys, I really hope I have given a very informative content. If you believe the same, then leave your valuable comments in the comment section. Like, share and subscribe. With this, I will park it here guys. This is Nakul, N-A-K-U-L, Nakul signing off from Skills PT Academy. Soon, I will be back. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Thanks much.